Welcome to episode number 94 of the Fitlandia podcast as I am continuing my summer series, The Week in Review in Fitlandia. If you miss signing up for the next 30 Days to Thriving program, which launches on July 5th, then I want you to consider getting signed up early for the August session. We start August 1st, and if you sign up within the next 24 hours, you can use the code EARLY50 to save 50% off. I can't wait to welcome you to the program. Now on to the Week in Review. You're listening to the Fitlandia Podcast, and I'm Krista King, certified hypnotherapist, nutritional therapist, and your host for the show. Subscribe to the podcast today and join me each week as I bring you experts in nutrition, exercise, and mindset mastery. Together, we'll keep you educated and motivated to live the healthiest version of you. Okay, let's get started with today's show. Happy Thursday! It is time for another week in review in Fitlandia. This is my summer series, taking a little twist um, for the Fitlandia podcast and my regular listeners so that they can just hear what's coming up, like the lessons learned, the conversations that are happening, the transformations that are happening, and what a week it's been. So, Um, First, I want to kick it off with my journey to be fitter by 46 than I was at 26. A lot of you watching have been following my journey and my updates every week, and I hit a major, major milestone uh, just this morning. So I first want to preface this with saying weight loss is merely a symptom or a byproduct, if you will, I should say. It's a byproduct of the changes that you're making in your life. So a lot of the people that I work with, they come into the 30 Days to Thriving program, or they hear me talk about it, and it's focused on weight loss. And I get it. I totally get it. Like, I'm motivated by the the scale still. Um, And I'm working on reframing that. But 90% of my focus is on my health. How's my sleep? How's my digestion? How's my energy? How's my mood? How's my productivity? Those are the things that really drive me. Um, And that wasn't the case years ago. That's why I yo-yo dieted because I was always focused on the scale, that number, versus all the abundance that I was generating in my life. Um, And I've been doing a lot of work lately, a lot of body hacking, food hacking, sleep hacking, a lot of hacking. Um, But today I saw a number that I literally haven't seen in 20 years. Um, So there you have it. doesn't matter what the number is. It's just a number I I haven't seen. Um, For any of you that have seen my posts, whether you're on Instagram or on Facebook, you can go ahead and expand that and you'll, you'll get a sense of what that number is. But I'm really proud of it because I know where my body uh, operates optimally. Um, I know what that looks like. I know what that feels like. And I am so on my way there. But um, this is a great segue to talk about the bigger message, which is enjoying the process. So this whole new lifestyle shift for me that I started, gosh, six years ago now, But really, the last four have been would have been incredibly transformative where I've gotten my education in nutritional therapy, where I I continue to learn every day, every week, something new about food and the power food has to heal our bodies, but also allowing us to thrive in abundance. And man, I got to say, I enjoy the process. So um, last week, I interviewed Steph Gaudreau. Um, formerly of Stupid Easy Paleo, but she talked about this idea of you got to enjoy the process. Like I love to move every day. I now look forward to going to work out. And I used to be that person that loathed the idea. I was too tired. I didn't have enough time. I la 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 la, all the negative self-talk around moving every day. And now I'm like, oh no, that's my priority. Like that gets on my calendar before anything else. Um, But as you saw earlier in this week, I also honor my body. So 
even in this process, it's not always perfect. It's not always butterflies and rainbows. And I had a Hashimoto's flare up earlier this week. I get to the gym. I'm already feeling worn out, fatigued, tired. And I'm like, I'll just modify. I'll go in there. I go to this class. It's an awesome class. And I desperately wanted to like push myself, but I knew I couldn't because that was only going to make me worse. So I honored my body. And actually after 30 minutes, I was like, I really got to listen to my physical body here and I have to excuse myself. No big deal. No big deal. I just move on, right? My body just wasn't having it that day. It needed more rest. I was overstressing it, whether it was with work or my to-do list, just mental, physical energy, it didn't matter. So I just had to honor it. I just took a day off and I'm back at it today, right? So no big deal. Enjoy the process. And it's okay if you can't imagine enjoying the process today, which is a great segue to talk about the next thing um, in the week in review in Fitlandia. As I wrapped up my power sessions with Ruby Receptionist, if you're here in Portland, then you've probably heard what a spectacular company Ruby Receptionist is. They've won a multitude of awards. They are an incredible startup success story here in the Portland area. Female founded and run, which I love. Shout out to Jill Nelson. So, but they, I, I wrapped up my workshops with them this week and they again were incredible. And one of the things that I talked about in those power sessions was this idea of reframing negative thoughts. And I, w- I want to give this to you today too. So I don't have enough time to cook healthy meals. I hate to cook healthy meals. I don't have enough time to exercise. Um, I don't go on diets. Diets are bad, which they are. I agree with that. But, oh, if, if, I, if I do this, I'm going to be lacking. I'm going to feel deprived. All those things, right? You've got to reframe those negative thoughts. And it's a simple formula. So those thoughts will drive your reality. And I want you to imagine that your brain is the architect. What does the architect do? It designs. It designs what life is going to look like. It designs what the building is going to look like, what form it's going to take, what shape it's going to take, the materials, all of it. Architect designs it and then it hands it off to then go and be built. Our brain is the same way. Those neural pathways that we're creating, those negative self-talk statements, those are creating thought patterns that actually dictate what shows up in our life. So what I'm going to invite you to do for the next two weeks is reframe your negative thoughts. And here's the formula. First is catch yourself having a negative thought. I hate to work out. I'm too lazy to work out. I don't have the energy to work out. Whatever it is in any area of life. The next thing I want you to do is give it a 180 reframe. And I don't mean just, oh, I love to work out. No, I wake up excited every single day to work out. Now, I know those of you watching are going, that's a bunch of crap, Um, but that's okay. It's okay to feel like that. You can, or I should say, think that. The most important thing is that you attach the emotion that you would feel if you believed it fully and completely. So it's okay if you don't believe it. I wake up excited and motivated every single morning to go work out. You don't have to believe that. but. How would it feel if you believed that fully and completely? And it's what I did when I gave up alcohol for a year in 2015. I said, I just told myself, it's easy for me to be sober. It's easy for me to be sober. Now, even just saying that at the time gave me anxiety because I was in such an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. But I just gave myself that thought pattern. It's easy for me. It's easy for me. Then I attach the emotion of what would it feel like if it really was easy for me to be sober? Oh man, that changes everything. So even though I might not have believed it at the time, I could imagine what it would feel like if I believed it fully and completely. That right there is the magic formula to creating a new thought pattern. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. You do that over and over. You're starting to carve a new path for your brain to follow. You're laying down a new design for your life. And when you repeat this, attaching the emotion to it, and you go through this over and over again, 
you will start to shift your mindset. You will start to find opportunities, possibilities, resources will just start magically showing up. You'll suddenly start to get motivated. Maybe you start to go to bed earlier. Maybe you start to get up earlier. Maybe you decide to write a pros and cons list. Maybe you start to focus on all the benefits that you would get from that. So I invite you to do that exercise for the next two weeks and tell me what you think is happening in your life. I want to know. I want to hear from you because it will work. Okay. So I talked about that in the Ruby Receptionist Workshops. It was really, really awesome. It was amazing. It was incredible. So I want you to practice that this week. So fast forward to today, I recorded two more shows. And it's just incredible how the universe lines up these people and these messages. Uh, One of them is Dr. Chris Zeno. He is a fitness influencer. He's a motivational speaker. He's also a hero. He's a self-described uh, hero, which I love. And again, he started reinforcing this idea of enjoying the process. And oh my gosh, I just, I can't, I can't even summarize the podcast adequately because it was so amazing. And when you hear he and I talk, um, we, we just, we could have gone on and on. And as soon as we ended the show, I was like, we have to schedule our next show and figure out our next topic. We just have that philosophy about the power of the mind to make incredible life changes, breaking through incredible obstacles. Um, and in his words, finding your own inner hero to really manifest the life that you want. And my philosophy is, That foundation starts in wellness. It starts in fitness. Those four cornerstones, good nutrition, daily movement, mindset mastery, community connection. You're struggling with it. I want to help you because I will break through any obstacle. Okay. So then this afternoon, I interviewed Sean Harvey as one of my next stories of transformation. So Sean is sharing his journey in the last 22 weeks, he's lost over 100 pounds of weight through the ketogenic diet, 114 to be exact. I met him just last Monday at Leanne Vogel's uh, book signing tour. So as if, if you don't know who Leanne Vogel is, uh, I'm a big super fan. She has the best cookbook I've ever read in my life called the Keto uh, Diet Cookbook. It's almost 500 pages and half of its information, half of its recipes. There's one cookbook you get, get that one. But I met Sean at her book signing and I was so compelled by his own story and his own openness, his vulnerability. He talked so candidly about his emotional relationship with food and his food addictions, which I love. Like, oh, can't we all just talk about what's really happening so that we have an easier time healing from these demons? It's really just a matter of understanding how our brains are working and ending that shaming cycle so that we can be open to the support. So we had just, I literally just got done with my interview with him um, about 15 minutes ago, just before I started this live session. And I'm thrilled to be following his journey. And I'm going to be, he's he's already scheduled for another show too. He's going to be sharing his inspiration but we talk about men's emotions with um, food too, and how we aren't giving men a safe place to explore their emotions and their connections and how they're self-soothing in ways that aren't serving their greatest and highest good. So I love that Sean is a part of giving men permission to explore and be vulnerable. And some of you saw my post a couple of weeks ago about I want more men in the 30 Days to Thriving program. So if you're a man that's struggling with a reliance on sugar, refined carbs, and alcohol, I want you to come join me in the 30 Days to Thriving session. The next one starts July 5th. You'll get a dose of me every day because I'm in the group every day supporting you all, answering your questions. But we also get on a group coaching call once a week. You get meal plans, recipes. But you also get the Mind Zoning Meditation audio bundle. So you get seven tracks that are specifically designed to go with the program to help you start this idea of embracing a new lifestyle with a feeling of abundance instead of deprivation. I can tell you, 
Moderation looks so different for everyone, and it certainly looks different for me and how I used to operate, but nothing about my lifestyle is depriving. It's all about abundance and understanding your body and under and and honoring your body. So I'm going to wrap up my, I'm, I'm just checking my notes to make sure I, I shared that all with you. But again, like I just have to say the power that we all have is in our minds and I want to help you unlock that. So if you're struggling, join me for the next program. We start July 5th. You get signed up today. I get you in the program and the Facebook group. You can start meeting everyone. And what's really cool about July is I'm matching everyone up with accountability buddy. So not only will you have the entire tribe, your whole team that's starting July 5th, but you're going to get matched up with someone one-on-one that you can connect with to support you along your way. Thanks for tuning in. And I will be checking in again next week with an- another update on the Week in Review in Fitlandia, the lessons that come up, the great takeaways, the learnings, and certainly my journey to be fitter by 46 than I was at 26. And I can tell you, you'll get an update on my third half marathon for the year because we're doing it on July 4th. So I'll see you all next week. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. If this was your first time with us, be sure to head over to iTunes and give us an honest rating and review. I personally love hearing the key takeaways that you got from each episode that's going to keep you moving forward on your fitness journey. And if you're curious to know more about Fitlandia and the solutions we offer, visit fitlandiafitness.com today and sign up for our newsletter to unlock your free gift. I can't wait to welcome you to Fitlandia.